you've picked out your pattern that you want to make. So now we're going to look at the back of it to see how much fabric is needed and what other items you need. This is the back of our envelope for our pattern. What we have here is a project for a jacket and a hat. Project A, Project B. Now I know it looks like a lot of information, but actually it's the same information three times. We have it in English, French, and Spanish. So you just pick the language of your choice and you're just gonna be paying attention to a third of this. So that makes it a little less overwhelming. So now we're gonna get in a little closer and talk about what type of fabric you need and how much yardage and what notions you need. One of the first things you wanna look for is the suggested fabrics. On the back of every pattern, they always list fabrics that they say is ideal for this particular pattern. So right here, it's listed as fabrics. They suggest fleece, denim, lightweight wool, and wool blends. So these are the fabrics you're gonna look for at the fabric store if you wanted to make this jacket. You could pick something like silk, but it's not gonna quite lay out the same way, and it might look kind of weird, so if you want something that looks ideal, I would suggest that you take the suggestions they list. Underneath it here, we have notions. So you're gonna need thread to sew the project. For project A, which is the jacket, they also say you need four 5 8 inch buttons. So this is the size of the buttons that you need to get in order to match their measurements for the pattern. Next thing we need to look at is how much fabric we need. So here's the jacket, project A, and you'll see two measurements here, 45 inch, 60 inch. What this is, is the width of the fabric. So depending on how wide your fabric is, it's gonna dictate how much fabric you're gonna get. So if you have a 45 inch fabric, you're obviously going to need more fabric than if you had a 60 inch width fabric. The majority of fabrics you see in the fabric store are 45 inch. So this is usually what you're gonna get when it comes to apparel clothing. But you do find things that are 60 inch, and then you can go ahead and follow this one. So in order to find this width, you look at the end of the bolt, and it'll say what width it is. Or you can just ask somebody at the fabric store to tell you. So if you have 45 inch fabric, and you're a size 10, you're gonna follow this down, and you're gonna need two and a quarter inch yards. If you have 60 inch fabric and you're size 10, you're gonna need one and three quarter inch yards. So that is what you're gonna tell the person at the cutting table to give you. Underneath this, we have interfacing. Interfacing is a white fabric that's usually at the, the cutting counter and you sew it when you're either making collars or cuffs or where there's buttons. It just makes the fabric a little bit stiffer. So this also says that you need one and one eight yards of 22 to 25 inch. This is the width, lightweight, fusible interfacing. It's an iron-on, so it's a lot easier than the old days when it was sewing. And then you're also gonna need cording. We're gonna need three eighths of a yard of one eighth inch that's the width, wide cording. This is what goes on the front because it's gonna be loops that loop around the buttons. So that's what you need for the jacket. For smaller projects like accessories, they'll usually just be a small section. So we have B project, the hat here, and it says we need 7 eighths of a yard of 45 to 60 inch fabric. Because it's such a small, number of patterns, you don't really need that fabric. So it doesn't matter if you get 45, you get 60, you're still gonna need seven eighths. You also need lining, five eighths of a yard, a 45 inch lining. Now what lining is, it's gonna go on the inside of the hat. So when you flip the hat over after it's finished, you're gonna see another fabric. This helps stabilize the hat. So whatever your original fabric is, it's gonna make it just a little bit more stiffer and heavier. So it's gonna be more like a hat. Now you can use lining fabric, which they have usually at the fabric store as separate lining. It's usually very lightweight, and maybe kind of silky, or you can just use a lightweight cotton, which is fine. Next we have interfacing again, seven eighths of a yard of 22 to 25 inch lightweight fusible interfacing. Again, this can be found at the cutting table. 
You can just ask somebody there to help you find it if you have trouble, but they usually have like a whole stack of it right behind the cutting table. So we have interfacing here, but then it says peak interfacing, one half of a yard of heavyweight fusible interfacing. The difference is this interfacing is gonna go between the hat and the lining of the top of your hat. The peak interfacing, which is a heavyweight interfacing, is gonna go into the bill of the hat because we want the bill of the hat to be really stiff. So the heavier the interfacing, the stiffer is gonna make the fabric. So you have lightweight, midweight or medium weight, and heavyweight fusible interfacing. We don't really have to worry about the medium in this project, but that's the difference. So that's what you need if we're gonna make the hat in this project. I have here another envelope for a pattern just to show you another example because it's laid out a bit differently. But once you've seen a couple of these, you'll see that they basically have the same information and they have the same kind of thing. So they get easier and easier to read. This is for actually four projects. You'll see a skirt here, pants here, but there's a line with a letter on each one of these. So what that means is we have B is a short skirt, A is a long skirt, D is shorts, and C is for pants. And we have them all laid out here. So project A, B, C, D. Again, we have 45 inch width, 60 inch width for each one of these. So if we're a size 10, you're gonna go down if we have 45 inch fabric, and it's two and three eighths yards. If we have 60 inch, it's one and seven eighths yards. If we're doing a short skirt, for a size 10, it's one and a half yards. If we have 60 inch, it's one and a quarter yards. Also, you'll notice these little asterisks next to this. What this is, if you look at the bottom, it says one asterisk is without nap, two asterisks is with nap, and three is with or without nap. Up here, it has three asterisks. Now what nap is, is fabric that has some sort of, it's usually like fuzzy fabric, corduroy, velour, velvet. The thing is when you lay it out on your fabric, the pattern pieces that is, if you lay it in the same direction, it's fine. So you have to follow the directions for with nap. If you just lay them out any which way and, they're, and one piece is going this way and one piece is going that way, when you sew them together, it'll actually look like two different colors. So if you don't have any sort of fabric that has uh, any kind of extra texture to it, you don't really have to worry about it. But that's what these asterisks here mean. And also if you have a sort of directional fabric like plaid, I would probably add maybe a half yard more fabric so then you can match the stripes to whatever you're making so it looks a little bit more professional. So now at the bottom here, you see the suggested fabrics for our projects. They suggest cotton, cotton blends, gingham, laundered cottons. And this is because for a skirt, you want something kind of lightweight so it flows. For C and D, which is our pants and shorts, they suggest that you can also do lightweight denim. So this is because it's pants, but I mean, you can always do lightweight denim for a skirt too. It's just whatever fabric you know, you're partial to for your project. The heavier it is, obviously, the less the skirt's gonna be flowy, so that's up to you. And again, down here, it says allow extra fabric for matching plaids or stripes. This is so we can match them, usually up on the side seams, and so it looks more uniform. Requirements here, this is the notions that you need. All views, so that means all the projects. You need seven eighths of a yard of three quarter inch width elastic, that is gonna go into the waist of both the pants and the skirt is what holds it up. And we also need three and one eighth yards of one inch wide ribbon or twill. And this also goes at the waist because it's more of a decorative thing that they're doing on the pants and the skirt. But that's basically all you need in order to do this project.